Welcome back to the Jazz Pursuit. In this video, we're going to learn and analyse Someday My Prince Will Come. Someday My Prince was written by Frank Churchill in 1937, originally for the Walt Disney animation Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Fast forward 30 years and it had become a staple of jazz repertoire, with classic recordings from Bill Evans, Miles Davis and Dave Brubeck. Below, I've attached a PDF handout that accompanies the video and includes all the analysis, a lead sheet and the piano sheet music of our arrangement. Right, let's get started. So, first off, let's take a look at the key bits of information. Sunday My Prince is in 3-4 time and in the key of B-flat major. The form is 32 bars long, which is divided into an A, B, A, C structure, where each section lasts for 8 bars. First, there's the A section, which is followed by the B section. Then, the A section is repeated, and the form ends with the C section. So that's the key bits of information. Now let's take a look at the harmony in the A section. The A section foundation harmony consists of four chords, all of which last for two bars. It begins on chord 1, B flat major 7. Then it moves to chord 4, E flat major 7. This is followed by a 2 5 1 cadence. Chord 2 is C minor 7, and chord 5 is F7. This 2 5 resolves to chord 1. B flat major 7 in the first bar of the B section. So that's the foundation harmony. Now, before we add the extra chord changes, Let's check out the melody. The A section melody is made up of two phrases. Phrase 1 begins by rising from the 5th, F, to the root, B flat. Then, there's an enclosure around the 3rd of the E flat major 7 chord, G. This enclosure is from a semitone below and a tone above. Phrase 2 is almost a direct sequence of phrase 1. It begins by rising from the 5th of the C minor 7 chord, G, to the 3rd, E flat. This is followed by an enclosure, around the 5th of the F7 chord, C. Like in phrase 1, this enclosure is from a semitone below and a tone above. So both phrases have the same structure. They begin with a jump from chord tone to chord tone before enclosing another chord tone from a semitone below and a tone above. The enclosures are a really clever aspect of the melody. Their role is to enclose a target note, but the notes themselves are outside of the home key. So they open up some interesting harmonic options. More on that later. For now, here's the A section melody. So that's the A section melody done. Now it's time for the extra chords. Rather than each chord lasting for two bars, we use the second bar to set up the next chord, which gives the A section more shape and momentum. First up is bar two. In here, it's common to play chord three as a dominant chord, so D7. How does D7 lead to E flat major seven, I hear you ask? Well, we're used to dominant chords resolving down a fifth, 
like in a 251. But another way they can resolve is up a semitone, which is known as a backdoor cadence. So here, the D7 chord resolves up a semitone through the backdoor to E flat major 7. At this point, the melody is a B flat, which is the flat 13 of D. So we should also add this to the chord symbol, D7 flat 13. So that's tweak number one. Tweak number two is in bar four. Here, we use a regular 5-1 cadence to set up the C minor 7 chord in bar five. C minor 7 is the one chord and target point of the cadence which means the 5 chord is G7. The last bit of extra harmony comes in bars 5 to 8. Currently, we have a long 2-5 cadence, resolving to chord 1 in the first bar of the B section. With each chord lasting for two bars, we lose the momentum in the cadence. So in here, we add a recadence to increase the harmonic speed. From the starting point C minor 7, we then recadence back to C minor 7 using a 5 1. C minor 7 is the 1 chord, which means the 5 chord in the cadence is G7. Then, the harmony can move through the original 2 5 1, and each chord lasts for one bar. C minor 7 to F7 to B flat major 7. The last thing to check is the melody. When we land on the G7 chord, the melody note is E flat, which is another flat 13. So we need to add this to the chord symbol, G7 flat 13. So that's the A section in all its glory. Now let's hear it on the piano. Next in the form is the B section, and this provides some light relief after quite a busy A section. First up, let's look at the harmony. The B section consists of two 1, 6, 2, 5 progressions. It begins on chord 1, B flat major 7. Then, it moves to chord 6, G minor 7. Next, it moves to chord 2, C minor 7 before landing on chord 5, F7. These four chords are then repeated. B flat major 7, to G minor 7, to C minor 7, to F7. This F7 chord then resolves back to chord 1, B flat major 7, in the first bar of the second A section. Unfortunately, things aren't quite as straightforward as this, and there's a couple of harmonic tweaks we need to add. Currently, the harmony lands on chord 1, in the 1st and 5th bar of the B section. This is quite a chord 1 overload, and takes away from the cadence at the end of the section. So, instead of chord 1, we use a common substitute, chord 3, which is D minor 7. This turns our progressions into 3 6 2 5s, rather than 1 6 2 5s, and the resolution to chord 1 happens only at the end of the section. The second tweak is to the 6 chord. Rather than chord 6, 
we instead use a passing diminished chord. Between chord 3, D minor 7, and chord 2, C minor 7, is C sharp. So C sharp diminished 7 is the passing chord which joins together chord 3 and chord 2. So that's the B section harmony. Now let's take a look at the melody. The B section melody is made up of two identical phrases, and it's easiest to think of these in relation to the home key. The phrase begins by walking up through the major scale, from the third D to the fifth F. Then it jumps up to the seventh A. before falling back to the 5th F. Then, the phrase is repeated. It walks up through the major scale, from the 3rd D to the 5th F, before jumping up to the 7th A, and then landing back on the 5th F. After the B section, we have a direct repeat of the A section, leaving just the C section left to tackle. First up, the harmony. The C section harmony begins with a 2-5-1 cadence to chord 4. Chord 4 is E flat major 7, therefore the 2 chord is F minor 7 and the 5 chord is B flat 7. The harmony rests on E flat major 7 for two bars, before resolving home to chord 1 through another 2 5 1. C minor 7 is chord 2, F7 is chord 5, and B flat major 7 is chord 1. The harmony in Someday My Prince is quite unrelenting, as it changes almost every bar. A common way to open this up is with a dominant pedal in the last four bars. The dominant pedal is an F, and the length of it depends on where we are in the overall structure. If we're in the middle of a solo, it could last for all four bars, creating a big cadence into the top of the form. Or, if it's near the end of the tune, it could instead last for two bars, so we get a clear cadence to finish. For now, let's have the dominant pedal for two bars, underneath the two chord and the five chord, so we get the clear chord one resolution. The last chord to add to the C section is in bar four. In here, we add a passing diminished chord, similar to the B section. The bass movement is from the E flat in bar 3 to the dominant pedal F in bar 5. Therefore, E diminished 7 is the passing diminished chord that joins these two chords together.
So, the last thing to look at is the melody. The C section melody is made up of three phrases. Phrase 1 begins the same way as the B section. It walks through the major scale, from the 3rd D to the 5th F. Then, there's a tone approach from above to the root B-flat. Phrase 2 begins with a semitone pivot on the 6th of the E-flat major 7 chord, C. This is followed by a tone approach from above to the 3rd of the E-diminished chord, G. The last phrase uses only one pitch. This is the same note as the dominant pedal, which gives the compass some real flexibility at this point in the form. So that's Someday My Prince Will Come. Now, it's worth taking some time to really internalise both the harmony and the melody, before starting to improvise on the tune. For all the lesson notes, a lead sheet and the piano sheet music of our arrangement, check out the PDF handout attached below.